All right, what's up, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. We're going to look at three stocks, okay? We're going to look at Tilray, T-L-R-Y, S-N-D-L, and C-G-C, all right? These are all cannabis plays, and cannabis plays have been doing very, very well, all right? Having multiple 10% plus days um, here throughout the last month, along with the rest of the market has been very bullish, along with short squeeze season and IPO attack season happening, right? Um, cannabis stocks were heavily shorted, all right, um, in retrospect to the market, as well as the whole market in general, right, has been very bearish. We've been seeing lots of shorts get squeezed out the market across the space. All right. So um, stay through to the whole video if you want to see the update on all three stocks and figure out which one has been leading the way, leading the charge, kind of. Uh, in my opinion, uh, we're going to show some unusual options activity towards the middle of the video. Uh, so stay tuned. All right. We're going to break right into it now. And what we're looking at is our daily chart and we have our price targets on here. OK, so the blue line, this is our breakout level. All right. Green lines, bullish take profit zones. OK, what I like to call bullish price targets. OK, so we got bullish price targets at 442, 447. Our blue breakout level is 415. All right. Right in between here. OK, is going to be, um, you know, an area of high interest for re-entries. OK, as is going to be in between three ninety four and three point five four. OK, if we do break below there, we're going to head down to three point four and then three point one six. So those are the price targets right there on Tilray. Um, and if you can see, you know, we're doing a very, very good job, uh, in my opinion, on Tilray. OK, I'll go ahead and just show, um, you know, essentially what I'm looking at. Right. And this is going to be it, okay? We have a little bit of, you could call it a bullish channel, right? Okay, depending if you want to draw it like that. Or if you're a little bit more bearish, okay, and you think that a big drop is coming, we have an ascending wedge, okay? So um, let me put a different pen on real quick just so you guys can actually see, right? So this would be an ascending wedge, right? Meaning that we are going to, implying that basically once we break through this level here, we're going to have a downwards move towards this level here, okay? So that would be, you know, if you're scared, if you're bearish, right? If you're bullish, okay, what we're noticing is that we're basically holding this nice bullish channel in here. So as I said before, these price levels in here, okay, 394 down to 3.4 are gonna be an area of interest for a possible re-entry, right? Now we could find support here, all right, at the top one of 394, or we could drop all the way to the bottom. But if you notice, We've had this nice consistent pattern, okay, of trading in this bullish channel and going like this, right? So we hit our up phase. This may be our wave down before we go up higher, all right? Um, so, you know, that's Tilray right there, all right? That's the breakdown on Tilray. Those are the price levels. The next one we're going to go to is SNDL, all right? Now, um, this one actually was a penny stock and recently had a reverse stock split, okay? So SNDL has been performing pretty well um also okay but just not as strong all right and what i mean by that is we weren't able to break above our blue breakout level okay so that doesn't mean it hasn't had a nice rally it most definitely has but we have not been able to come up and hit any of our bullish price targets right let's go ahead and look at that haven't hit our four dollar bullish price target haven't hit 451 okay um so, you know, again, we're in that area of interest right, uh, right in between here, right about 328 to 247. OK, again, you know, we kind of have a little bit of a bullish channel here on the short term. This could have been a break. All right. This could have been a break of this trend line right here. All right. Now, it's not perfect. It is a little bit of a doji, right? A reversal indecision candlestick. So we could head back to the upside or this could start a downtrend to the bottom. All right. It did do a really good job of filling this gap right here. If you notice, there's a gap from the tip of this candlestick to the bottom here. These are known as daily chart gaps, and they fill 90 to 95% of the time. And we can see um, that, you know, in a few weeks, it went ahead and filled that gap. All right. So those are the price levels there. 359 is our blue breakout level. So above there, we have some bullish price targets, again, a 4, 4.5. OK, and watch these levels here, 328, 303. Those are our strong resistance levels right now. So we're going to have to break those before moving higher. Uh, 286 and 268 are going to be some critical support levels. And below there, we head to 247, OK, and 212, all right? The next one we're going to be looking at is CGC, 
which stands for Canopy Growth Corporation. Um, and this one, in my opinion, has been leading the pack, right? Now, Tilray did do a better job of hitting its bullish price targets. Um, so, you know, I may be incorrect on that. All right. But, you know, in my opinion, I've been watching this one and it just seems a little bit stronger, right? If we tried to draw a um, ascending channel or I'm sorry, yeah, an ascending wedge on this one, you, it's, it's a lot harder, right? The trend line here up and this one here is, is, is more consistent, right? So we're, we're hitting this one pretty much consistently throughout the way um, versus the last one, you know, we had an uptrend and then we had a sharper move sideways like that. Okay, so here, you know, we could have the same thing. We could have a bullish channel right here. All right, if you wanted to call it an ascending wedge, you still could do that. All right, so let me draw that uh, again with a permanent one just so you guys can see uh, and, you know, just truly understand and be prepared, right, and, and visualize the setups a little bit better. All right, that's a little bit of an ascending wedge, right? So I would say if we get a break below 348, all right, you could try to play the move down to 254 all the way down to 213, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that this isn't a bullish channel, right? It all just depends on the perspective of the person doing the analysis, right? So as you can see, we're hitting the lows, coming up high, hitting the lows, coming up high. It could be time for the next pullback, the next leg down, all right? Now, uh, we are going to go ahead and jump into the uh, Options Trading Tycoon's Discord real quick. All right. And I want to show you why we're going to look at the unusual options activity uh, that is present on some of these uh, cannabis stocks right now. OK, we're going to search CGC. All right. And it's going to pull up all of the data in on CGC right now. OK, so what we have um, right here is this is unusual options activity. All right. And this was um, twenty three thousand dollars. Right. So the really cool thing about this is that it's going to show you the actual amount of premium that was spent. So we have twenty three thousand dollars. We can see what strike price they chose and what expiration they chose. So really, really nice info there. OK. Um, and then we can see here that we have some sweeps. Right. Sweeps are large institutional uh, block orders. Right. Or large block orders, uh, large sweeps, you know, purchasing option contracts. Right. So, again, we have a thirteen thousand dollar sweep right there. Again, at that 4.5 strike, just a sooner expiration, right? And look at here, we have $54,000 of premium at the same 4.5 strike with an 826 expiration, right? Let's scroll down some more, and we can see here that we have another 50000 okay, right here at that 4.5 strike, 819 expiration. Then we come here, and we in and, and our act, unusual options activity buy actually pulled it up, Right. And we have 54,000 at the five strike for 916, right? So, you know, this is just some of the data that you're going to be able to access in the Options Trading Tycoons if you join. The link to join is in the description below. Uh, if you use code Zachly, like the channel name Zachly Trades, you will gain access, uh, you know, at a discount, right? You can go ahead and get a discount on your membership. Now, unusual option chain flows and unusual options activity, you know, People sell these things for hundreds of dollars, right? You, you know, some people have, um, you know, hundreds, you have to pay hundreds of dollars, right? To be able to get these services. Um, so, you know, that's some of the bundle, that's some of the things bundled in to the actual price of the options uh, trading tycoons discord is, you know, there are a lot of, um, you know, paid features and paid data resources and things like that, that go into the discord, um, you know, that add up, right? But you'll have access to all of those complimentary as part of your membership fee. Um, you'll gain access to all of our call outs. All right. All of our entries and exits. Uh, you know, we had some nice plays today. All right. Look, we had a twenty thousand dollar winner. Let me get my face out the way so you guys can see back up in a way. But this was just today, guys. We had one play. Twenty thousand dollars. Right. So if you want to join the discord uh, link to join in the description below, use code Zachly. Uh, you'll get a discount on your membership.